What else have you got over there? Well, speaking of animals from research published in the Royal Society Science Journal, monkeys at a temple in Bali are picking out expensive items from tourists and holding those items for ransom in exchange for food. Okay. <laughs> Researchers found the wild, long-tailed macaque monkeys were able to determine which items had the highest value, like tablets, and iPhones. Wow. And so wait a second. So they're going to steal you. They're going to steal the iPhone 12 before they yeah. they they grab an analog. Yeah. The monkeys would only return the item after receiving food they perceived 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 as uh, equal value. Oh, so let's yeah. say they steal your iPhone, you give it a hot dog. No, no. no you then you give, give it a filet mignon and it takes it. Or you can give them 10 hot dogs. It's a oh. quality quantity <laughs> thing. So Scientists say the monkey's funny. behavior displayed unprecedented economic decision-making processes. So macaques are running a pawn store, a pawn shop? Is Essentially. That Have you yeah. seen the movies of these places where they're overrun with these monkeys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen video of macaque before, but I not uh, mm. necessarily... Well, boy, a vacuum. <laughs> Oh, I see. You're, You're way referring to one of, referencing one of your pornographic uh, videos. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and you were in it, apparently. That's right. <laughs> it, was, uh -huh. it was yours. You yeah. never uh, made a video. How did, you, re how did you recognize it? Because it was just me. Uh, okay. Well, there's a guy out there that does that. Really? Oh, oh you know no. there is. <gasps> Videotapes himself and then watches himself. Oh. Okay. Let's uh, let's. Wow. Let's, 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 covered let's, uh, covered in thumb dents. You know. Was it? Didn't we? Uh, we had an article about these um, macaque monkeys, and the thing was because of COVID, fewer people were visiting. Yeah. These various spots, and it was getting really ugly. The monkeys were attacking people because the, the, they they're used to being having lots of tourists around that are feeding them. But uh, so but this study obviously indicates that the, the monkeys are able to perceive which things are most expensive. Seems like quite a reach to me. I maybe they're able to read the reaction of the person, and that judges how worth you know. Yeah. I mean, over time they they yeah, realize like, Man, that people really want these little the, black squares. Yes, yeah. they're, they're better they're better off stealing <laughs> the iPhone than the person carrying a map. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Did you see the, well, you're not on social media, but over the weekend there was a picture going around social media of the penguins that found an iPhone and stood on it and took a selfie <laughs> accidentally. It's hysterical because it's shot from, you know, it, it It was pretty funny. An upskirt on a it penguin? It was an upskirt on a penguin. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so was it a, a boy penguin or a girl penguin? No, there were two penguins and they were just kind of looking down at the phone, like, what have we found? And then they accidentally and was someone going to sue and claim that the penguin owns the uh, sure. rights to photograph. the photograph? Okay. Probably. Mm, good work. Uh, a goat and a dog making news. I love this joke. <laughs> they were each elected mayor of a Vermont town after raising money for a community playground. Fairhaven Town Manager Joe Gunter told the Rutland Herald that the goat named Lincoln helped raise $10,000 oh. after he was elected as the first pet mayor in 2018. Uh, don't go to the theater, Mayor Lincoln. No. Yeah. <laughs> Fairhaven's current mayor, a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel named Murphy, raised $20,000 after receiving a $50,000 grant from the Federal Land and Water Conservation Fund, the town now can begin renovations on that playground. Ironically, the honorary mayor is not welcome on the playground as there are no dogs allowed. What the hell's that about? That's the first law he should change. Whoa. Right. <laughs> Murphy's owner, Linda Barker, joked Murphy's Linda going to Barker? take that. Linda Barker? Yeah. How about that? That's her name. What, that? <laughs> what are the odds of that? Huh? And Joshua Wright, Linda Barker, Murphy's owner, says <laughs> Murphy's going to take that up with the town. Yes. yes. And yes. then she said, make sure you spay and neuter your pets. Bob, Bob, Barker, Bob Barker would often say that. Oh, come yes. on. Yeah. Pretty funny. Linda Barker. Yep. Pretty funny. This is good, just acknowledging that something was kind of funny. <laughs> 0 for 4 this morning. <laughs> I'm 0 for 4? Oh, I'm, I'm 1 for 10. Did <laughs> <laughs> you see how actually mad I just got at that? <laughs> well, that's a sweet story. Yeah. Murphy Barker is the name of the dog. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's a, that's so that's so funny. Now, um, I want to put a last name for your dog. Do you put a last name on your dog's name? Of course. <laughs> they have my last name. I'm proud. <laughs> <laughs>